doing? So I just finished off work. I love it when there's a black screen and I can just relax and log off and switch off for the rest of the night. But yes, I just finished work and I'm about to head over to dinner with my sisters. So my little sister, Carolina, she just arrived in London and we are gonna go get Korean barbecue. So I'm about to get ready and I actually realized I made a fatal mistake. So yeah, as I was saying, I made a really stupid mistake and I washed my hair this morning because because I wanted to and it was like one of those days where I was like mm, I don't have that much work and let's just do a midday shower because work from home midday showers hit so much honestly it was a mistake because I'm gonna go out for K-barbecue right now and my hair is all gonna stink again so it's just like what am I doing? you know like why did I why did I wash my hair? I'm gonna have to tie up my hair and make sure that it does not get barbecue smell i refuse to wash my hair two days in a row um so yeah that's that and also tomorrow i'm planning on going into the office but i still haven't decided if i want to go in for the full day or if i want to just go in for the social because the reason why i want to go in because it's a social not like a long one they're just like a town hall kind of thing and we usually always have drinks and stuff on Friday so I wanted to go in and just you know be a little bit of a social butterfly for once and not stay at home all day also there's like really bad tube strikes right now so it's gonna take me legit an hour like 60 minutes or maybe even more like 70 minutes to get into central which is incredibly annoying but it is what it is I'm listening to Sun Kwan and Young Ji's cover of Juice and I, this is the best thing that's happened to me this week This cover is the best thing that's happened to me this week It ain't my fault that I'm out here getting loose Okay, uh, I finished my makeup, didn't do much I already had a bit of concealer on and my eyebrows were already done anyway so I'm done and I need to get dressed and go There's a lot of food, so we've got chicken, sides, meat obviously, and yeah, let's just eat. Yummies! A few moments later. Are you full? Yes, I'm so full. What do you rate this meal? Eight. How was your meal, Mimei? Oh, it was so yummy. What do you rate it? Eight out of ten. Nice. What's the chocolate rate? 8 out of 10. Oh. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Hello! I just finished my meeting this morning. It's Friday. I don't have that much work to do, so it's pretty good. But me and Carolina are gonna go visit QM. And then I'm gonna go into the office and finish off like a little bit of work. I really don't have that much work today. For now, we are doing pretty good on time. We have time to go to Queen Mary, maybe get some food. We're gonna eat a little bit of breakfast right now. All dressed up and about to head out. I'm wearing something semi casual, semi, I guess not professional, but work appropriate because I'm going into the office later. And me and Carolina are just gonna head out to Queen Mary. And I just packed my bag. I'm gonna put in my laptop in here as well. And then we can go. What did you think of Queen Mary? I liked it. It was like everything in one area, which was nice. Yeah, it's very campus feeling, which is good. Yeah. But yeah, about to go to work now.
So I'm in the office as you can tell and I just had my final call with my teammates and basically wrapped up the project so that's really fun and really exciting I feel like a relief because you know the project has wrapped up so it's a really nice feeling um, but yeah basically I don't have anything else to do today apart from some personal stuff and then I might just do some like compliance training and other admin bits and bobs that I don't do when I'm on the project because I don't have time to but I might just do those things now and I need to also find a project for next week because I don't actually currently have a project which means I'll probably be on the bench for a little bit next week and hopefully I'll find a project soon and if you guys don't know um, the way consultancies work is you actually have a utilization rate or the way most consultancies work is you have a utilization rate and um, being on the bench for too long is not good because obviously your utilization rate decreases because you're not being billed to the clients and therefore it's almost like <clears throat> if you have this tool you want to be using the tool as much as possible and the more time the tool is sitting in your drawers the less utility or the less value you're getting out of it so you can see the same kind of um, mentality that companies have for their consultants you're trying to make sure that you're using them as much as possible and I'm gonna try to find a project for next week but for now I'm chilling and I have like a social a little social at the end of the day because it's Friday yeah and then I have dinner with my sister and we don't know where we're gonna, we don't know where we want to go yet but we'll figure it out sounds good though <laughs> time and it was really good because yesterday we were so tired but today this morning we're about to go to dim sum with christina and and then we're gonna walk around and stuff so it'll be nice and i cannot wait to get dim sum because i love love dim sum it's the best food ever so let me know in the comments what your favorite dim sum is i love chun feng chun feng i don't know how to pronounce it properly because i don't speak cantonese but i love chun feng all right, ready to leave. We finished eating already. I forgot to take a video slash picture of everything before it got eaten because we were too hungry. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yes, sister singing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What did you ask for? Spanish latte. And you? Uh, matcha latte. And I got a cafe latte. I just got a hand soap from Molten Brown because I'm an adult now and I need to invest into my soaps. And I'm saying bye to the one pound Tesco soaps. Growing I just got some street fries, <laughs> street patatas. Her favorite thing ever apparently is street patatas. <laughs> because it's just so practical. To be fair, patatas is one of those foods that is really easy to eat and walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please, no please, no chips, no. Hey, 
but they can be baked. They can be baked. Por isso que eu escolho uh, não comer batata frita. Mas isto é uma, uma cena que eu não escolheria normalmente, ok? Mas you can't eat them baked either. You, you can't change the rules it like that. You can't like, change the rules it like, like that. Be anything like fries, potato wedges, anything like that. We're at Emilia's. We were supposed to go clubbing, but then we didn't go clubbing. So now we actually ended up having three bowls of popcorn. Because it's 50% off today for like the whole. So instead of going out clubbing, we're out here eating. We're like, we were going to go to this really goofy table. <laughs> basically like L-shaped, so we were facing like opposite directions. Yeah. <laughs> we were literally facing opposite directions. We would have to eat like this. <laughs> so we have the cacio pepe truffle, we have the pancetta bolognese, uh, noi bolognese, the carbonara, and we have the slow cook bolognese. Yeah. Creamy pastas or tomato pastas? I like both. I love both. It depends on the, the vibe I'm in. Yeah, true. Okay. Sugar? This one's my favorite. Okay. I like the sweet food. Same. Okay, so the truffle pasta wins. So good. So good. We were supposed to go clubbing, but we decided to have a night in instead and we sold our clubbing tickets But Christina went and so did my flatmates and I hope they're having a good time right now But yeah, basically wrapping up the Saturday and tomorrow Carolina is flying over and I'll just probably have a chill day wrapping up and Monday is back to work So yeah, I'm gonna have a good night in now. I'm gonna have some tea, maybe light a candle and go to sleep <laughs> 